What's up video? This is a Manchu from Tech Portal and in this video I'm going to show you the new update of A5 ROM port for G7. Here we have the links. I have provided the links in the description. For this you must have a rooted device and or must have a recovery installed. If you don't have recovery, you can check out my videos. The links are in the description. And by going this link, just slide down and here you can see this update section. In this we have dual sim fix, more fluid, all block pairs has been removed and the file size is around 800 MB and Samsung account, account fixed and it is more stable. And as compared to the previous A5 ROM port for G7, it is more faster and more fluid than that. So just click on this download button and it will redirect to the uh, Google Drive page and from here you can easily download that file. So without any further ado, let's get started. So now we are in our TWRP recovery. So from here, first create a backup. It is very necessary in case you lost your data or you are not able to install the file correctly or in case you have lost your IMI number, you can easily restore it or you can check out my video of how to create backup and restore in Android device. So now first we wipe our data, advanced wipe, go to system, select data, cache and LV cache, don't touch internal or micro SD card, just swipe to wipe and now go back and now go to install, here I have my file in my uh, internal storage, here we have this Galaxy A5 2016 ROM just click on this reboot after installation is complete just swipe to confirm flash it can take up to 10 to 15 minutes or longer to complete the installation and booting so I am skipping that part So here we are with the A5 ROM, the booting has completed and here you can see that there is no plot where you can remove this VChat directly, just uninstall it and now we have don't have any. So let's check how much RAM is available. In the first boot, we have around 500 MB of RAM is available out of 1.3 GB. So that's all with this small update of A5 ROM port for J7 and it is very smooth. So that's all with this. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It will help me to grow. And for more videos like this, let me know in the comment section if you want any other video. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.